So here on the chart, you could have identified this level as the key support level where the price hit and reversed from. Now before the price came back to this level again, you could have noticed how the candles keep getting smaller and smaller, then a smaller long wick candle, which is a hanging man, and rejecting the support level, and then finally you have a smaller candle, which is also a spinning top, that shows indecision regarding the future trend direction, which is similar to a doji pattern. This then results in a bounce upwards. Now, you will want to wait to see candlesticks getting smaller and smaller as they approach a key level of support or resistance because it shows a loss in price momentum. This is a very key point you have to know for you to spot high probability reversal trades. Hey guys, in this video, we are going to show you the very powerful and ultimate way to trade price action that will consistently double your profit from any trade, either in a bull or bear market. Instead of depending primarily on technical indicators, we are going to show you how to read the market and make subjective trading decisions using price movement. So here is exactly what we will be covering in this video. To help us in creating content like this, please click the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now, let's get right into the video. Here is the Bitcoin price chart, and we identified this key level of support, because when the price got to this level, you can see that it hit and reversed upwards. So as the price approaches this level again, we had several indecision candlesticks forming, and finally you got this beautiful red long wick candle rejecting support, and then followed by another green long wick candle, which is also rejecting support, both of which are doji candles, that is completely engulfed by this higher momentum candle. You can see that price later bounced upwards, which then presented a great long trade opportunity. So when the price is approaching the support, you have to wait to see the size of the candles forming, and if it is getting smaller and smaller, then it shows that the sellers in the market are losing momentum, going in the opposite direction. Here on the chart, again we identified this level as the resistance, because as the price got to this level, it hit and reversed downwards, which makes this a key level of resistance. Then as price approaches this level again, we have a smaller green candle where the wick is sticking out and also rejecting resistance. Followed by this small candle which is a red bearish momentum candle, and as you can see price later reversed downwards after the candlestick formation. Now before we move on, here's another key point. Always look for a candle color change right at the key support or resistance levels as it can signal a possible trend change. So here is another example. This is the key resistance level, as the price is moving upwards towards the resistance level. Notice how all the candles forming are all green candles, and you know that green candles represent bullish price action. As you can see after the green candles formation, a red bearish candle finally formed, and the most important part is that it formed right at resistance, and as you can see the price then reversed downwards. Here's another example. As you can see, this is a clear level of resistance because when the price got to this level, it found resistance and reversed. Now look at what happens when the price approaches this area again. We have these bullish candles which shows a gain of momentum. And then the price breaks through the resistance level but later reversed and started a downward movement because of this big bearish momentum candle. This is what we call a false breakout or a fakeout. If the price got to this level, there's a high chance that the price will break right through these key levels when it approaches these key levels with a gain in momentum, just as this large bullish momentum candle that formed right at the resistance level. For you to properly understand the concept of price action, we are going to explain a few candlestick patterns. This will give more insight about candlestick forming at key level and price action. So let's get right into it. I have a detailed video on support and resistance level that explained everything about these key levels, so go and check it out. Mm -hmm. 
Candlesticks are one of the most important factors that tells you exactly what is happening in terms of the buying and selling within the market at that particular moment in time, either the daily, four hour, or the minute time frames, which then helps give you a directional bias to trade in. Here is the different core variation of the candlestick and their strength. On the left which are bullish and on the right are bearish. If these ones at both ends with a big body and no wick forms on the chart, it shows heavy bullish or bearish dominance in the market respectively. This then decreases in strength or loses momentum until they get to this one at the center. This one at the center with a small body and long wick called the doji candle represents indecision between the buyers and the sellers in the market, meaning both the buyers and the sellers has equal power over the market. If it forms at the key support or resistance with other candles getting smaller towards such level, it is a sign that the direction of the market is about to change or reverse. If this bullish momentum candle forms at key support, it shows that heavy buying presence has entered the market, and if it forms at key resistance, it can break through the resistance and continue upwards or form a false breakout and reverse downwards. Similarly, when this bearish momentum candle forms at key resistance, it shows that heavy selling presence has entered the market, and if it forms at key support level, it can break through the support and continue downwards or form a false breakout and reverse upwards. I will make a separate video explaining in details candlestick patterns and how to trade with them. But before then, click the like button and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload new video. Let's jump right into the price chart and take some examples. On this chart, you can see that as price came up, it hit and reversed, making this a key area of resistance. As the price approaches this level again, Notice this big bullish momentum candle that formed right at the key resistance level. It then break through the resistance and continued up. This then satisfies the idea of this bullish momentum candle forming at key support and resistance levels. As the price got to this level, it found another resistance, which you may think that is just some buyers taking profit. But as it came back to this level, it found resistance with red long wick indecision candle forming and it later reversed making this level a key level of resistance. After the price break through the support or resistance, always wait to see candlesticks forming before entering a trade, as price can break through the resistance and reverse immediately. Here is another example. Price came down, hit, and reversed, giving you a key level of support. Then when the price got to this level again, you had several long wick candles rejecting support, Price then consolidated for a few candles, and when this bearish momentum candle closed below this small price channel created by the price consolidation, it then confirms the breakout and presents a short trade opportunity. As an experienced trader, if you look inside of this little price consolidation, you will see that all the red candles closed below this support, giving you a sign that the price may continue downwards, which you got right after this big bearish momentum candle closed below this channel. Trading should involve zero guessing. This is to avoid burning out your account. You have to trade with what the price action is telling you. In the next section, we check out a few chart patterns that will also help us to assert price direction. Chart patterns are shapes we draw on a price chart that helps to suggest what prices might do next, based on what they have done in the past. A good understanding of chart patterns and how to spot and trade it will help you in winning high-quality trades. We have got many forms of chart patterns, but in this video, we will go over this once. Let's start with triangle patterns and go in with ascending triangle. Ascending triangles are bullish continuation pattern that shows the continuation of an uptrend. Ascending triangles forms in an uptrend and are drawn by drawing a horizontal trend line through the same two or more swing highs which forms the resistance, and then drawing an ascending trend line that meets the horizontal trend line. The psychology behind this is that when price break through the resistance, you will take a trade entry long. Like here, you can see that price rallied for a few candles before breaking the trend line and continuing up but in some cases, price will break or close below this ascending trend line, which will then lead to a trend change. For example, 
Here the price formed this beautiful ascending triangle. Before this bearish momentum, candle closed below the ascending trend line and the price started a downward movement. Moving on to the next triangle. A descending triangle shows the bearish continuation of a downtrend. Descending triangles forms when the price makes the same lows forming the support level and a downward sloping trend line of resistance because the price makes lower highs. Eventually, the price will break through the support and the downtrend will continue. It is also wise to wait for candlestick formation after a descending triangle forms because the price can stall and bounce off the sloping trend line and continue in the upside direction. For example, Look at how almost all the candles that formed at the support are all bullish candles, and the price later break through the sloping trend line and continued up. Now moving on to the next pattern, which is the wedge pattern. Let's start with the rising wedge. Rising wedges can be both bullish and bearish. A rising wedge pattern forms when the price is making higher highs and higher lows, which then allows for a rising trend line to be placed at the top and at the bottom. A bullish rising wedge starts with an uptrend, followed by the rising wedge formation. At the same time, a bearish rising wedge starts with a downtrend, followed by the pattern formation. Now the falling wedge. A falling wedge can also be both bullish and bearish. A falling wedge pattern forms when the price is making lower highs, which then allows for a falling trend line to be placed at the top, and the price making lower lows, which also allows for a falling trend line to be placed at the bottom. For example, here you have your moving uptrend. Notice how the price made lower highs and lower lows. Then you got your trend lines, which connect the highs and the lows of the move both at the top and at the bottom, forming the falling wedge. Once the price breaks below the bottom of the wedge, you will start looking for more candlestick formation to confirm the breakout and as well to take a short trade, which you got right after the breakout because the price continued down, going in the opposite direction. Here you can see that the price formed this falling wedge pattern because the price made lower highs and lower lows. Once the price broke the wedge pattern to the upside direction, you will take a breakout entry long, or to be more accurate, you will wait for candlestick formation after the breakout. As this will help to increase your directional bias, which you got by this bullish momentum candle. Now moving on to the next pattern. Let's start with the double top. A double top forms in an uptrend, as the price of the asset moved up, making a higher high, it retraced back to this level of support, forming the neckline. The price then moved up once more before reversing back. As it reached this level again, look at this pin bar and doji candle before the price formed this bearish engulfing candlestick pattern and price broke the neckline and the trend changed from an uptrend to a downtrend. A double top is used by traders to spot a bearish reversal pattern. Now the double bottom. A double bottom chart pattern forms in a downtrend. As the price came down, it hit and reversed, forming the neckline. As it came back to this level again, notice this bullish presence that entered the market, and the trend reversed and start an upward movement, which finally breaks through the neckline. More aggressive traders will take a breakout entry long at this point. A double bottom is a bullish reversal pattern, as it shows the end of a downtrend and the start of an uptrend. Now from the price action psychology, you only enter a trade right after the neckline of the double top or double bottom is broken. You can wait for a pullback to form instead of entering a trade right after the neckline break. This helps to confirm that the short-term price correction is over and the new trend can continue. Because the financial market and price movement are imperfect and for you to win most of the high quality trades, you have to learn how to trade within an imperfect and noisy market. So whenever you are drawing your lines or identifying your patterns, treat them as approximations and as areas. Always remember that the financial market is imperfect and price movement is imperfect. In the next section, we will try to combine two or more of these steps into one trade setup. So let's get right into it. So here on the chart, the price moved up before forming this triple top. Notice how the price formed this higher low, which was an indication that the uptrend will continue, but the price reversed, forming this slanted neckline as well as an ascending triangle. 
Once price breaks this slanted neckline, you will take a breakout entry short. Or to be more accurate, you could have waited for the price to break this key support level that was previously formed before entering a trade. All of these price action steps will put more confirmation to your directional bias. To help us in creating content like this, please click the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.